Hello, my name is David Ibbett. I'm a composer and artistic director working at Multiverse Concert Series and the Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Massachusetts. On the 9th of November 1989, when the Berlin Wall came down, um, I was four years old, growing up in Coventry in the UK, uh, sitting in on my mum's piano lessons. Well, uh, I wanted to be a composer, uh, but back then, uh, when I thought of composers, I thought of Mozart and Beethoven, uh, all these dusty old men. Um, and there's no way I could have predicted uh, what it would actually look like. Uh, and it's been a long, challenging road uh, to get to work that really fulfills me. And there have been dead ends and difficult decisions, um, walls to break down and overcome. I'm incredibly grateful to the community uh, in Boston, uh, particularly the Science Museum of Boston, for supporting all of these crazy projects we do. My research breaks the walls between art and science, uh, between artists and scientists. I founded Multiverse Concert Series uh, here in Massachusetts uh, on the belief that art and science are our universal language, and together they have the power to transcend the boundaries of politics to help us build a unified human community. Uh, we put on concerts of music and science in live performance um, and for a virtual audience. Uh, the projects weave together music, lecture, visual art, uh, classical, electronic, different styles of music. Uh, we really try to make a cohesive experience for the audience. Uh, the project has been the home for many of my own compositions over the past several years. We produced a ballet, a cellular dance, about the movements of living cells. We worked with the MIT Fluids Lab to show chaos and order at the micro and macro levels of the universe. Um, a soon to release Octave of Light, uh, an album of exoplanet music uh, celebrating recent advances and the search for life in our universe. Art and science are traditionally kept separate. And they certainly were in the UK in the education system where I grew up. Um, my work, we really hope to challenge and overturn this notion, uh, showing that art and science have so much to offer each other. They are really kindred disciplines, both being driven by a passion for discovery. We live in an ever-expanding world, and it's all too easy to become disconnected from all but the immediate concerns, let alone the far reaches of the universe or the heart of a living cell. The challenge of each project that uh, we put together is to make the distant real, bringing the micro and macro reaches of discovery into our present moment for us to reflect upon and ultimately grow. Uh, this is particularly difficult uh, with um, projects dealing with the very small. Um, I'm working with Fermilab, the uh, Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, uh, exploring subatomic particles. Um, and try to find links between those and our everyday experience. Um, as it turns out, neutrinos may be the reason that we're here at all. Um, I would say that it's that art and science, artists and scientists, have so much in common, and there are so many connections between the two that have been shamefully unexplored. Uh, scientists often think of their work in terms of musical and artistic metaphor, and artists are so often looking to ground their work in reality, as rich and complex as it is. These two drives can meet together, uh, so to speak, and can create entirely new perspectives, that complete perspective of the world in which we all live. Uh, the team I work with, uh, we believe together that the combined insights of artists and scientists from different disciplines can reveal the world in its truest sense, immersing both the mind and the emotions uh, in a field of research.
cosmology can be illuminated through paintings translating unimaginable scales to present human experience. The motions of living cells can inspire dance and ballet, and the plight of coral reefs brought home by elegies for lost biodiversity. Um, finding the best way to connect different disciplines. Um, for all of the similarities, uh, the pursuits of art or different forms of art uh, and different scientific pursuits, uh, they can be very different in practice. And there's no single recipe uh, for creating meaningful connections and for bringing people together. We always have to try different things. Uh, I'm currently working on a, a musical analogy for molecular chains of polymers, um, how to uh, trace the complexities of polymer chains uh, in a, through musical notes um, and it, it takes uh, finding the initial idea uh, and then uh, the trial and error process so that it really communicates uh, what we're trying to say about um, the world in this case the the intricacy but also the um, the logic and the um, symmetry of repetition that we find in polymer chains. Um, I'll play one for you if you like. This one's uh, polythene. Well, as I said, my mum is a piano teacher and she always loves when I write for the instrument. In fact, this piano here uh, is my childhood piano. I was able to ship it over to the new world and it accompanies me on many of my projects. Um, I should say that my dad is a scientist. Uh, he's a polymer scientist. And I'm thrilled to say that we're finally doing... Um, a polymer project, and he's advising me, and we're working with MIT and Duke, the Monet project to do polymer music.